hello internet um right another job on the uh, roaster behind me um oil change now it's a bit difficult on a smart car to change the oil usually so what happens is you have to stick a suction tube down the dipstick tube if that makes sense i think it does um and suck the oil out but fortunately i think on this one i've spotted a sump plug so let's check it out so obviously this is going to be an absolute nightmare to try and film but i'll get you in here so the filter itself is just there okay and just there if you can see it i believe is a sump plug so um my life got easier <laughs> as i say most of these you have to actually physically god oh, noisy let's play right for that noise so yeah um <laughs> got distracted with the noise of a helicopter gee really noisy one um right so that's the few, that's the oil filter there nearly said fuel filter that's the oil filter there that tiny little thing but tucked behind here is a sump plug let me try and get you in it's really difficult i, I apologize for this but yeah i think what we're seeing there is a sump plug so um right let's let's get the oil drained like i say it's going to be absolutely impossible to try and take you through this but i'll do my best so i got myself a jack to make it uh well, i'll try and make it a little bit easier it's lower than the s3 this thing <laughs> it's crazy i uh, got my trusty old bowl Got a, an M6 to take that plug out. Well, let's see how this all goes. Well, I've managed to crack it. Let's get the bolt in place. Let's see if I can now do it with my fingers. And nope. Get the trusty M6 back again. Cool. Well, it did turn. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is this is great camera work. I do apologise. Um, oh, right, wait a minute, yeah, that was all getting a bit much. I'm trying to hold the camera and take the bolt out at the same time. So, one sun plug coming out anytime soon. Oh, god, there you go. It's draining out, and it's a lot easier than sucking it out the engine. So, um, yeah, happy about that. Uh, as I say, not all smarts have themselves a drain plug. In fact, there's quite a lot of them that don't. This one does, which is all good. Right, let that drain for a little while, and then uh, we'll think about sticking some more new, fresh, lovely oil in it. All right, and uh, yeah, quickly took the uh, the air filter out. New one to go in. Lovely jubbly. Weird setup. Very weird design. It kind of just slots in there. Yeah, very bizarre. But anyway, there you go. Right, it's got all the oil drained out. Um, yeah, it doesn't smell too good. It's been sitting for a while. I think it's just a yeah, it's a little bit of a injector leak. But um, a surprising amount of oil came out of it. To be honest, I don't think I expected that much. But right, let's get the filter off and uh, replace that, and uh, and top it back up again. So, just for reference, twenty seven seems to fit on there quite nicely. All right, let's drop it off. Here we go, last few turns. Yeah, lovely. Not too much in there, which is good. Oh, and, and there's the filter. Tiny little thing. <laughs> right, let's get a new one in. Yeah, I think I definitely needed changing. Not looking too great. Yeah, done its job. And a nice new drive one with an o-ring excellent old ring off new one on filter in plunk click right let's get it back on jobs are good and as i say every time actually you don't need to hang off these just uh, snug them up and give them a little uh, that just about does it. All right, let's pour some oil in. Of course, we're using the best funnel in the world. 
and I'm not going to film this because it's a tight space and I don't want to make a mess. But we have got some of the good stuff. Right, I think we're just about there. We have some oil up to the top mark, so yeah, give it a quick run. Circulate that all around and then check it again. She's alive! Alive, I tell you. <laughs> right, ready for a minute or two and then check again. Yeah, left it for a couple of minutes, it's about halfway now, so um, just a little top up and then we'll call that job done. And jobs are good. Right, need to tidy up, button this up, and then obviously the very last job, dispose of my waste oil in a responsible manner, which means putting it in the tub, taking it to the recycling centre. That, in there. Perfect. Well, there you go. That's where we leave this thrilling episode of um, the Smart Roadster. Um, as I say, not all smart cars do have a sump plug. Some of them you have to drain or suck the oil out of the dipstick, which is a bit of a problem, but doable. Um, but this one, luckily for me, did have a sump plug. So that's it. Nice, uh, quick and easy oil change. That's it. We're finished for now. Catch you later. Bye-bye.